Average Introduction In our day-to-day -day situations, we often use the word average without really understanding the meaning of it. The meaning is really simple. An average is a single number that gives an indication of many numbers or quantities. Consider the following situations. The average height of boys in class 5 of St. Mark's school are about 4 feet 6 inches. This does not mean that all the boys are exactly 4 feet 6 inches in height. One boy may be 4 feet 5 inches tall, while another may even be 5 feet tall. However, the average height of the group is 4 feet 6 inches. Average is equal to sum of quantities divided by number of quantities. To find the average of two or more quantities, let us take three pieces of ribbon, A, B and C. A is 30 centimeters long, B is 25 centimeters long and C is 20 centimeters long. Let us place the ribbons end to end. If this long stretch of ribbons were to be divided into three equal parts, we would get three parts of 25 centimeters each. We see that the average of 30 centimeters, 25 centimeters and 20 centimeters is 25 centimeters. Average of two or more quantities is the sum of all the quantities divided by the number of quantities. Average is equal to sum of measures divided by number of measures. Remember, Average is equal to the sum of the quantities divided by the number of quantities. The average lies between the greatest and the least quantity. Average cannot be calculated for two or more different types of quantities. Average of a given number of quantities need not be a value in the given set of quantities. Take another example. Given below is a table showing marks obtained by five students in five subjects. What are the average marks scored by each student? A is equal to 87 plus 63 plus 68 plus 63 plus 79 divided by 5, which is equal to 360 divided by 5, which is equal to 72. B is equal to 93 plus 75 plus 70 plus 69 plus 88 divided by 5, which is equal to 395 divided by 5, which gives 79. C is equal to 78 plus 65 plus 68 plus 63 plus 71 divided by 5 which is equal to 345 divided by 5 which gives 69. D is equal to 84 plus 67 plus 71 plus 69 plus 74 divided by 5 which is equal to 365 by 5 which is equal to 73. E is equal to 90 plus 80 plus 73 plus 71 plus 86 divided by 5 which is equal to 400 divided by 5 which gives 80. Thus, we find that on an average, student E has got the highest marks and student C the lowest among the five students. Compare how the students fared in English, Hindi and Social Studies. Average marks scored in English is equal to 63 plus 75 plus 65 plus 67 plus 80 divided by 5 which is equal to 350 by 5 which is equal to 70. Average marks scored in Hindi is equal to 68 plus 70 plus 68 plus 71 plus 73 divided by 5 which is equal to 350 divided by 5 which is equal to 70. Average marks scored in social studies is equal to 63 plus 69 plus plus 63, plus 63, plus 69, plus 71, 
divided by 5 which gives 335 by 5 which is equal to 67. Thus, the students scored equally in English and Hindi though they did not do so well in social studies.